Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to be editing a photograph from the Photos in Color community in Lightroom. Theme tune. Do 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 boop 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 do 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 Okay, so today I'm going to be editing a photograph sent in by Danny Nagashima Jr. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And he sent me this photograph on the Photos in Color Facebook page. Now, if you want me to edit one of your photographs, just head over to the Facebook page, like the page and send me a message. And then I'll be able to get one of your images in here to edit so you can see what I would do to it. Now, before I jump into this, I do want to point out a few things. What I'm going to do in this edit is use loads of different techniques to show you how they can be used. Now, you might like the edit or not like the edit. This, remember, is to show you how I would edit and also what I would do to an image in the, the power of Lightroom. So let's jump into Lightroom and let's have a look and see how I would edit this image. So today we're using this photograph that apparently Danny shot in Chicago. So it's between two buildings and we're looking down to the ocean. Now it looks fantastic, but I think, you know, we can do a lot of work on this to really change it. So let's go in here and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm going to create a virtual copy so that I can just whip back and quickly show you the differences. So I think the focus needs to be over here. We've got two buildings and we're slightly off center and off kilt. So we need to straighten that up and then bring some drama into this image. Because remember, I think an image has to tell a story or at least have a feeling to really have some kind of give the viewer an experience. It's not just to show some buildings in the ocean. Okay, so the first thing I would do is I'm gonna come down here and I am going to go to enable lens corrections. It was actually already turned on automatically and I'm going to go to auto and it's gonna straighten up the buildings for me. Lightroom is amazing for this. So then let's slide back up. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the white balance because we can see everything is really blue and it looks like it's probably a sunset here and uh, which you know would give that blue feel but I think we can do something different. Now to set the white balance, this here looks like it should have been pure white as should these on the side of the building here. So. I'm going to take this and I'm going to select over here to warm up the image. Let's come out. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks great. Quick and simple because we're going to be making lots of changes. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is look at the basic tone. Now what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to pull down the exposure of this just a little, okay, just to bring back some of this sky. Then what I'm going to do to help the sky more, I'm going to bring the highlights down but then so that I don't lose all of this, I'm then gonna bring my shadows up. Now already, we're starting to get an image which is a little bit more exciting. Let's look at the before and the after. I like it a lot more, but we've got a long way to go. And then the whites, what I'm actually gonna do is boost up the whites a hair, just a little bit, because we've got snow and things. And then the shadows, I think I'm probably gonna leave them where they are for now, okay? Double click and that just puts it back to zero. Okay, now let's look at the color on this. So, vibrance, I'm gonna whack the vibrance up on this, okay? Just around here, and then I'm gonna pull back the saturation of hair just a little bit, just so that it doesn't ruin the image and oversaturate things like the Navy Pier, it looks like it's, oh, it's Navy Pier in Chicago, it's Navy Pier. That's what we're looking at, great. Took me a while to figure that one out. So, next thing I wanna do is I wanna jump in and work on this sky, okay? So I'm gonna, to work on the sky, I like to use the brush tool up here, and what I'm going to do is double click effect, which is gonna reset everything. And the sky, essentially, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the highlights down even further, the whites up slightly, and the contrast up. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to paint over the sky. And you can see that instantly, this sky has just come alive. Now, I haven't been completely accurate around the buildings, but it doesn't really matter. Now I can move around these sliders and I'm gonna keep the, the highlights all the way down and I'm actually gonna boost the color of the sky. I'm gonna warm the sky up a little, okay? Just a hair, but I'm gonna lose what I painted on the, on the C because I don't like it. So for that I hit a raise down here and I'm gonna make sure my flow is at 100% so I get rid of all of it but a nice soft edged brush. I'm gonna paint it out like so. Okay, before, after. 
Really, really nice, okay? We're getting there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, you can see that the sun is obviously setting somewhere over here, okay? But it's behind these buildings and it's meant that everything's a little overcast because there's probably too many clouds in the sky or maybe it was shot just after the sunset as opposed to just before. So we can kind of bring some of that back. For this, we use the radio filter. We're gonna make it warm, nice and hot. In fact, double click for the effect just to reset everything. I'm gonna boost the exposure up, I'm gonna bring the highlights up definitely. Then let's just create one of these. So let's create like some kind of a hot spot just here. Okay, let's make it come all the way across the sky, but heat it over at this side more. Okay, I do like the looks of that, um, but I'm gonna keep it nice and hot, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pull the highlights down actually, because I brought the exposure up and the shadows like so, and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of a red color to this, so it really is like sunset. I'm actually gonna boost the contrast up. There we go, now it's looking great. However, what I'm gonna do is add a brush a raise and I don't want it to affect the building because remember the sun is behind this building not in front of it okay so that's looking really great now I'm going to add another one of these because it's going to have a hot spot okay like so and then this time I'm really going to make this red okay I'm going to give this like loads of color but I'm not going to bring up as much on the exposure like so so now we've got this nice hot spot and we have a bit of a sky effect, which is starting to look really great. And again, I'm gonna use the brush tool, we're gonna to erase and we're gonna get rid of this. Now, this looks great, but the building over here is reflecting this sky. So let's come back to the first one. We're gonna to go to brush and we're gonna to go to A, so we're adding in the brush and we're gonna set this nice and soft, not quite to 100% flow and we're essentially, we're gonna build it in over this side too. Okay, I'm actually gonna throw this, this, this flow up because I actually think that we've got a full reflection in this one just here. And then remember the other one that we added, we're gonna do the same thing with that red, okay? Now it's starting to come alive. Now I'm gonna bring the flow down and I also want to get the reflection of the sky in the entire building, like so. And let's go for the other one as well. Bring the flow down. Let's just add all of that in down the side there. Now also what we want to do is add some kind of a reflection in into all these little buildings down here. So we're gonna zoom in and all we're gonna do is take this brush and you're not gonna see it particularly very much, but all I'm doing is I'm touching in on anything that might have some kind of a reflective surface on that side, okay? Like so. I'm just gonna add those things in. Now, it doesn't look like much at all, but it keeps it looking nice and realistic. So let's come back out. I'm gonna select my other one, and I'm gonna do the same, but bring my flow down, and I'm gonna get this kind of a reflection going on on all of these, just these edges for a few things. Great. So now we're starting to get somewhere with this image, but I don't think we're there yet because down here, it's just simple. It's not, nothing's happening. So down here, what I wanna do is I wanna add a shadow across here so that the sun is hitting this area, okay, that we've created. So for that, I'm gonna take a brush. I'm gonna make it nice and hot. I'm gonna hit everything else back and essentially I'm gonna draw on down here a line across here. Oh, I wanna get my flow all the way up. Let's actually make this exposure bright so we can see what we're doing. I like to do that, okay? so that I can see what I'm doing. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna leave those settings. So by doing this, I've essentially built in some reflection that the sun would have, keeping the rest of it dark. So let's bring back that to here. Let's add a little bit of red again. So it's gonna lift up this area down here and I'm actually going to boost the contrast and I'm gonna lift the shadows. So now this area has that little bit of a feeling going on to it. So we're gonna add one more like this, and we're just gonna, because we want it to make it look realistic, okay, we've added just one thing over there. So then what we want to do is we wanna add in something else and just kind of dot it around as if the light's hitting things, okay? Now we're starting to get there. So we're gonna take another radial filter because now I want to start bringing focus in here. 
radial filter over this section like so. Let's reset everything and we're gonna boost the clarity. We're gonna lift up the exposure just a hair and the sharpness, we're gonna really boost that up to around there. Bring that back. Now we're starting to get there. So what else would I do? Well, I'd come down here to my HSL panel and down here what I'd want to do is boost the saturation of my oranges for my skies and I'd want to drop down the luminance for those so that they become more dramatic. So look at the before and the after. Get rid of these few settings that I just did and look at the color change, it looks great. Now, what I wanna do is I really want to add a split toning to give it that nighttime feel. So for that, highlights, wherever the light is hitting, I wanna add yellow. But wherever the light is not hitting, I'm gonna add like a bluey purple because that makes it seem like it's more, like it's in the shadows, so it's at nighttime, it's at dusk. And I'm gonna pull this back towards this direction and now we're gonna take a look at the before and the after. And now we're starting to create something really exciting. Let's look at the tone curve. So I want to give it a little bit of a fade in the shadows, like so. So it's gonna be a little bit more filmic in looking, I would say, is what this does. Just like this. And I'm actually gonna to come to the reds and I'm gonna boost the reds uh, in the highlights only. So it's kind of like the split tone, like this. And then the blues, I'm actually gonna boost the blues in the shadows. Oh no, I'm gonna bring this all the way down here though. Like this, but I don't want to lose my blues in a lot of areas. I don't want to boost them too much because it will end up ruining the image. Like so, that's starting to really take effect of the image. Now the final thing, I think I've lost these buildings a little bit. So let's come back to the brush and I'm essentially just gonna lift out these buildings, just a hair, like so. And I'm actually gonna add a load of clarity to this. So I want, I want these buildings not to disappear, but I do want them to, if we give them contrast, it means that the blacks will go away a little bit, it'll go a little darker. There we go. Okay, I'm actually gonna leave this image here. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm gonna add one more brush. See, I like to keep adding things. One more brush and I'm gonna make it cold. I'm gonna reset everything else. Make it cold. So the reason for this is this area down here, I want it to feel like it's in the shadows. Feel like this down here and even under the bridge, like that these shadows, it's cold, okay? So then this is what's gonna drive focus into this area. So let's look at the before and let's look at the after. I think that's a huge change. So that's how I would edit this photograph using Lightroom CC. If you liked the edit or didn't like the edit, give me a comment below. If you wanna send me a photograph, head over to the Facebook page and definitely subscribe to my channel, which is Photos in Color, just hit the button below. This has been Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.